Unbelievable, my wonderful people. You'll be shocked and surprised by what Uzo Kalu has got to say about the current um, Obasanjo's support of Peter Obi, my dear. He said, Olusegu Obasanjo he, he knows exactly what he's doing. He said Olusegu Obasanjo was the person who supported Leto Maru Musa Radua. He supported him with everything he can to become president. So at the same time, the then governor of um, River State, uh, you know, was also looking forward to becoming Nigerian's president. He said if Obasanjo really wanted an Igbo man to become Nigerian's president, he could have. And he should have supported, you know, uh, he should have supported Peter Odili. So why is he uh, behaving now Now that he, behaving like now that he really wants an Igbo president? That uh, Nigerians should see, you know, um, Emilio Kong because it is his turn. That is Uzo Kalu, you know, speaking. Of course, you will not expect anything less as an APC man, and you will not expect him to do anything less, you know, with regards to, you know, who he currently is and what he stands for. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's understand what really is going on as this man takes solid in the fact that he sees, um, uh, you know, Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinobu as Nigeria's next president. If Olusegu Obasanjo wanted an Igbo man to rule, he could have chosen Peter Odili back in 2007. But what he's doing right now is deceiving Nigerians seriously. Okay, he's deceiving Nigerians seriously. His support for Peter Obi is not genuine. He has other motives down his sleeves. Uzo Kalu, a former governor of Abia State, ascertained that the APC, APC candidates, president, Presidential candidate Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu must win the 2023 election. He insisted that APC has to win because Olusegun Obasanjo is deceiving Nigerians again like he has always done. He said he added that Obasanjo, the former president, is not being honest by endorsing Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, after clamoring, after declining to back Peter Odili the former governor of River State, back in 2007. He claimed that Obasanjo is a hypocrite and Nigerians should not listen to him or pay any slight attention to this man. Obasanjo had every opportunity to support an Igbo man back in 2007. What did he do? He turned a blind eye and it was the very Igbo man he worked against. If he had wanted an Igbo man to lead Nigeria, 2007 was his best bet, adding that he respect elders and that Obasanjo is a national elder. But an elder who does not respect himself and is dishonest, he does not see how he can accord such an elder respect. According to him, let me tell you, when Obasanjo was president, he stopped Peter Obi. If he wanted an Igbo man to be president, he could have chosen Peter Odili. But he kills the man. He killed the man dreams. I respect elders. Eh? He's an elder statesman for the country. But an elder who is dishonest, who does not want to tell you the truth, I have no respect for him, he declared. Peter Odili wanted this. He did everything humanly speaking possible. He went all out for Nigerians. But guess what? This very man was the person who frustrated that dream and vision. Today is back in Peter Obi. It's too late. He came a bit too late because it is not the turn of Peter Obi, according to Uzo Kalu. So you just heard Uzo Kalu. That is the former governor of Abia State. And in his submission, I mean, he's, a, he's an APC man. Who do you expect him to be honest? Who do you expect him to support? You know, I will expect him to support his uh, presidential candidate of his party. Unless, you know, like, uh, you know, unless he has seen, he has seen something different and he feels, you know what, I will not go against my own like some others are doing currently today. He has made up his mind. His mind is wide open. And then um, he has told himself that, you know, uh, Tinubu is his man. Now, there's no question to that. OK, every single person is entitled to their opinion on the presidential candidate they will and they want to support. I don't believe we should castigate people. But what we do here is that we bring informed 
you know, information so that you can make an informed judgment. You are well informed of everything that is happening. You know the teeth from the tats and you are very much aware of what is going on. So much so that when you take that decision, you are taking that decision based on the fact that you have considered all available options. Well, in his opinion, he feels very strongly that the man should have supported Peter Odili. You know, he should have supported Peter Odili, but what did he do? He turned a blind eye. He did not support Peter Odili, and he does not understand why now, all of a sudden, you know, the Igbos have become preferential candidates or people that he wants to support. Anyway, my people, you can see that um, everybody have their opinion and everybody is entitled to whichever presidential candidate they want to support. Uh, for Odili, his candidate is, for Odili, his own personal candidate is Bola Ahmed Tinubu, and we cannot uh, take that from him. No, we can't. Yes. So in his opinion, Olusha Gwabasanjo has no right whatsoever to be saying, you know, it's his turn of the Igbos when he had opportunity to support the Igbo. He did not support them like he should. So in his opinion, Olusha Gwabasanjo is being deceitful. He's not being honest and he's not telling Nigerians, you know, what the true situation is. That such an individual cannot be trusted. And so in his opinion, he feels very strongly that uh, Nigerians need to look for somebody else who will endorse somebody and they will, you know, listen to or pay attention to, you know. And then um, he made reference to Odili, a former governor of river states you know say so if he wanted to support an Igbo man that was his best bet but what did he do he was the one who frustrated uh peter otili's uh you know opportunity of becoming nigerian's president and today so whether you like it or not in his opinion he feels very strongly that olusha gobas and joe is not being genuine to the Igbo people but why not just follow his lead or just you know support you know, I, I don't know. I mean, like we say again, everybody's entitled to their opinion and we're not going to, you know, castigate anybody for supporting any presidential candidate. It is absolutely up to you. But I hope you've done your homework. You have vet all the presidential candidates and you are absolutely sure that this is the person you are supporting. Come rain, come shine. You are absolutely determined that such an individual can make a difference in what we currently have because if we neglect that part and we begin to do other activities the the result is that whatever happens you and i will have to you know we have to live with it yes please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like us share subscribe click on the president uh, the, i mean click on our um on our notification button so you can have all our latest news remember it's up to you and i to make a change god bless bye for now